Uh, in this video, we will be discussing another method of solving differential equation. We, we take it to another somewhat level. Uh, that is, uh, we use an operator. You know, this is uh, totally different from the previous way of solving differential equation because now we are going to use operator. But actually, the, the principles are the same, only that we, we simplify the, the forms. Okay, So, instead of using you know, the, the traditional dy, dx, we use just the, an operator symbol d. You mean to say that you take the derivative of the function. So let me uh, explain further this. So we will be using yung d. Okay. This means that uh, this is a derivative of y with respect to x, the first derivative. Now, if we have this squared y and on, this is the second derivative of y with respect to x. Now, and so on, if let's just say we have d cubed, we have d or the third derivative of y with respect to dx. So, ganun yan, so on. On fourth yan, fourth derivative. So, ganun lang yung ibig sabihin ng um, operator D. Okay, so, for example, if we have D, X, to the fourth, okay? This means that you take the derivative of X to the fourth once, okay? Kasi D lang ito. So, the answer to this is, uh, if I'm going to illustrate, this is the derivative of x to the fourth. Okay, this is equal to 4x cubed. Okay, so if we have d squared x to the fourth, this means that you take, again, the derivative of this. So, yung first is 4x cubed. Then, yung second derivative now will become 12x squared. And this will be the answer. This is the second derivative. Kasi nga itong, itong may, may number to dito. Okay, so, now if we say, uh, let us say we take the third derivative of the same uh, variable or term. So, we have now, of course, yung first, uh, derivative is 4x cubed. The second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative, which is 12x squared. And the third derivative is the derivative of the second derivative, which is 24x. So this will be the answer of d cubed x to the fourth. And so on. So from d to the fourth naman, ito na lang yung derive which is 24 na. 24 na lang is the answer. Okay, so ganun lang yung operator. As simple as that. Now, when, when we apply this to differential equation, uh, yung, yung rules in algebra, yung operation, yung Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division will apply also to operator. As though this is just another variable, but this one carries the derivative. Okay, so, pero parang variable set. Pero ang toto niya, this is the derivative of a function. This means that if you take the derivative of the function, so, so let us uh, have some more example of this, yung mga derivative. Okay, so kuha tayo sa book. Halimbawa, uh, um, d plus 1 times 8x. This is what I mean when I say the, the 
the roles in algebra will apply. So we can multiply this inside. So we have d uh, 8x squared plus 8x squared. Now, if we're going to analyze, this one means that we take the first derivative of this term, 8x squared. Well, this one, we do not do anything because it has no uh, operator attached to it. So, as is lang siya. Therefore, the, to answer this, we just take the derivative of this, which is 16x, di ba? Plus now 8x squared. So, ito na yun. yung If we simplify this, ito yung answer. Okay, let us take another example. Ano ba yung... So, uh, D squared plus a squared, a is a constant, multiply this by cosine ax, okay? So, yeah. Again, we can multiply this uh, inside the parentheses. We have now d squared cosine ax plus a squared cosine ax, okay? So, if we're going to analyze this, itong operator na to, uh, this means that we take the second derivative of this. So, first derivative, and then derive again that, then that will be the second derivative. So, let us do it. So, the first derivative of this, we know that the derivative of cosine is uh, cosine, a uh, negative sine, Ax type the derivative of the angle. Okay, so yung, yung, yung derivative of cosine Ax is equal to negative sine Ax times the derivative of the angle. Ano yung derivative ng angle? This is, it is only A. Uh, so possibly my dx5 pero nandito na yan sa derivative natin. So, uh, if we answer this, we have now, we, it, we perform the first differentiation, so, isa na lang. So, this is negative sine ax times a, okay? So, this is the first derivative plus a squared cosine ax. So, we have performed the first uh, differentiation or okay, yung first derivative then yung pang, yung last na yung pangalawang uh, derivative is we derive the first derivative which is now the derivative of this is negative uh, cosine ax of course yung a ilagay na lang natin dito okay uh, erase na rin so dali lang this is negative a cosine ax times the derivative of the angle, which is a, plus a squared cosine ax. Now, we multiply this here. This becomes a squared cosine ax. That thing then you, they are now uh, the same. So, we can, since they have different sign so we can cancel this out and the answer is zero so if we simplify this yung answer niya is zero so ganun lang siya so let us take another example para practice lang ito ng, ng uh, differential calculus d plus one squared x e negative x okay so we cannot multiply this inside so we have to expand first ito i have said that uh, the rules in algebra will also apply here so when we expand this we have the square of the first term 
plus twice the first and the second. One is the second term, then the square of the second term, which is one times one is one. So times now x e negative. So this is now the time that we can multiply this inside and then perform the indicated operation, which is second derivative, first derivative. So we have now d squared of x e negative x. Ang cross ko na sa parenthesis para mas madali natin maintindihan. Plus 2 times d of x e negative x. We just we are just multiplying this inside. Plus now x e negative x. Okay? So we perform ito dalawang basis na ito derive. So, we first derive this. Now, of course, uh, this is a product formula. Derivative of u times b. Two function is equal to u db plus b du. Or, this term, so derivative of this, then plus this term times the derivative of this. So, babalik taran lang yung derivative. So we, we use it here. So this is u times b. Okay, so uh, we perform the first derivative. So matitira yung second derivative. So we have now the first term multiplied by the derivative of this. Anong derivative nito? E negative x times, of course, the derivative of the power which is negative 1 okay plus now the second term is 1 times the derivative of the first term which is 1 and derivative of x is 1 okay so now perform we have already performed the first uh, derive uh, the differentiation or we, we take the first derivative so isa na lang matitira while this one is lang so we have now, uh, i-copy na lang natin ito kasi the same lang. Uh, simplify na lang. x, t, negative x, times negative 1, plus e, negative x. So yan. Plus of course, yung... So na tayo. Ito na yung ito. Wala ang gagawin dito since it don't have an operator attached to it. So we have x e negative x. So again, uh, we, perf we, we simplify this first part so that we uh, will not be uh, complicating the solution. So d times negative so this will become negative x e negative x plus e negative x okay plus two times this is negative x e negative x plus e negative x okay so then in the end plus x e negative x okay so we have one more uh, derivative to be taken so we take now the derivative of this ito naman again power formula okay and this one simple uh, exponential uh, function derivative lang yan. so again the derivative of this u times b so the first term multiplied by the derivative of this, which is negative e, negative x, okay? Generates over the lang e negative x times negative 1, minus 1. Plus down the second term e negative x times the derivative of the first term, which is negative 1, okay? Plus, we multiply 2 inside, we have... 
So this is uh, negative. So 2 times negative is negative 2x e negative x. Well, this one, 2 times that is 2e negative x plus x e negative x. So, medyo maaba lang pero simple lang. Multiply lang tayo. So, this one will become positive. So, x e negative x while this one become negative e negative x. Then we have minus 2 x e negative x plus this one plus 2 e negative x plus x e negative x. So let us examine if we can cancel out. So yung x e negative x x e negative x then we have x e negative x so this one plus this one is 2 x e now this one is negative so magka cancel out siya okay so cancel out siya ito saka ito magka cancel out um Tignan mo na, may, may kulang tayo dito. Yun. Uh, this one, ito. This times the derivative of this. And this one times the derivative of this. Ito ang nalimutan natin i-derive. Okay, so. Uh, this is uh, derivative of that. E negative x, the derivative of this is E negative x times negative 1 or negative E negative x. Therefore, uh, maglalagay na lang tayo dito ng minus E uh, negative x. Okay, so meron pa tayong dito minus E negative x. Okay, so... Uh, so, itong dalawa, saka ito, is negative 2e to negative x. Ito naman is positive 2e negative x. Therefore, this will cancel out. Lahat na lang magka-cancel and therefore, the answer is 0. So, ganun lang yung, yung uh, derivative, yung operator. So let us solve problem na yung differential equation na involving uh, operator. So let us say we have this, we have this problem, d minus 2 times dy equal to 0. Now, this is dy dx and this one is an operator d which means you take the derivative of what so take the derivative of this now this will complicate things and we cannot solve this directly so the 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 method is to simplify this in such a way that we can uh, solve this young simple solution. So, how about if we take first z equal to dy. So, we, you will just go on. Later on, you're, you're going to understand what I mean. So, this becomes now d minus 2 times z equal to 0. Now we can multiply this as uh, the way we have our, uh, we solve the, the yung mga previous example. Po, di ba? So this becomes now dz minus 2z at 2z two, <laughs> two equal to 0. So we transpose 2z to the, to the right. We have now dz is equal to 
to Z. But what is DC? This means that this is the derivative of Z with respect to X. Okay, this is the first derivative. And we have to Z. Now solving this, we have now DZ over Z is equal to 2 dx. And we can solve this easily. This is equal to ln z, right? this is of course 2x plus, uh, let us take the first uh, constant as q1. Now let us exponentiate this, okay, so to simplify yung uh, equation natin, hindi naman i-combine natin ito. Diba? I have uh, uh, demonstrated this yung sa mga application problem na mas mainam if we compact the answer. So if we exponentiate both sides, okay? So this becomes, A, L, N, yung issue, this becomes Z, while this one is A, 2X, plus uh, K1, or constant. Okay? And we know that when we multiply, let us say, two variable let us say uh, y y squared times y cube anong ginagawa natin y 2 plus 3 okay so if we have this form pwede siya maging multiplication okay separated na yung yung power okay pareho lang yan so in this case, I, I, I think I have explained this uh, in my previous discussion. Z is equal now to, we can separate now this, A 2X times A to K1. Okay, so ito naman. Uh, this is a constant, di ba? So, in a constant, pwede naman natin yung gawing arbitrary kasi siya. Kasi, if we, if we derive that, it becomes zero. Di ba dito? So, pwede siya gawin nalang constant. Yung this one, gawin natin na lang constant. E to that way. It doesn't matter. Kasi nga. So, ito yung answer natin. Medyo social answer. Pwede rin dito na yung gamitin. Uh, sana ito. Pwede rin yan ang gamitin mo. Pero mas mahaba kasi. So. Um, a while ago. We let. Ito. Z equals to dy. Okay, z is equal to dy. So, z is equal to dy. Okay, so, balik tayo lang natin. This is dy, this is equal to z. And what is z? z is equal to c1 e 2x. And what is dy? This is derivative of y with respect to x. Right? So, this is now c1 e 2x now if we cross multiply we have now gy is equal to c1 e 2x dx so we can integrate this now diba yung napakadali lang integrate nito and the solution now is uh, this is y well this one is uh, c1 of course, uh, kulang tayo dito ng 2. I-balance natin ng 1 half. Therefore, yung constant ilabas natin. This is C1 over 2. EU DO. This one is A. So, we the integral of EU DO is equal to EU. Alam nyo na yan, di ba? So, yan. EU DO. So, nasa form. So, yung answer niya is ito lang. Okay lang. So, plus now, uh, C1 
Pepsito, di ba? O, lagyan na lang natin ng to para maging so you may take this as our answer or you may multiply this by 2 okay lang yan um, okay naman yan maging ganun yung constant natin okay 2y plus c1 ito na 2h plus c2 or you can take this as a constant kung anong constant kasi nga uh, ganyan naman yan pwede you can do it yung yung constant niya yan. Okay, so let's take another example. Okay, bye. Uh -huh. D minus 2 No problem Times D plus 2Y Equal to 0 Now Again uh, This is a complicated uh, we, if we multiply this, we multiply this becomes complicated. So uh, we take a simple substitution. Uh, ito kasi magiging, magiging problema to. So let us take that as Z. So D plus 2 times Y. Okay. So this becomes uh, D minus 2 times z equal to 0. So, napakadali lang niya. This is uh, the same with the previous problem, di ba? So, do we have now dz minus 2z equal to 0. We, we transpose this to the right, yung 2z. We have dz is equal to 2z. And what is this? This is uh, dc dx, right? Yung ibig sabihin to, derivative of c with respect to x. Um, this is equal to, to z. Now, solving this, we have now dz over z is equal to 2 dx. So, this is similar lang to sa previous uh, problem. So this is ln z is equal to 2x plus uh, c1. Okay. So we have now we exponentiate both sides. So we have e ln z is equal to e 2x plus c1. Or this becomes z is equal to pareho kanina. We have C1E to the 2x. Okay, yung constant. Uh, pwede natin maging constant na lang. E, uh, e to the C1 supposedly. Diba? Pwede rin maging equal sa constant na lang yan. So this is the solution. Uh, if we have this substitution, now we are going back to this. So we have now Z is equal to, this is our substitution, D plus 2 times Y, okay? Well, yung z natin is this one. So, we have uh, d plus 2 times y is equal to c1 e to the 2x. Now, if we multiply this inside, this becomes dy 
plus 2y is equal to c1 a to the 2x. But what is this? The meaning of this? This is equal to the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay? Plus 2y, this is equal to c1 a to the 2x. And if you can recall, this one, itong, itong form na to, this is a linear differential equation form. Yung may solution na siya, di ba yung, uh, in ulit ulit yun lang to, dy dx plus py is equal to q. These two are function of x. And the solution is y e integral of p dx is equal to integral of q e integral of p dx dx plus c. So, ganun lang ang solution niya. Pag nasa forma siya, this is the solution. All you have to do is substitute p and q and p here. Solve na. So, in this case, yung p mo, p is equal to 2 while q is equal to c1a to the 2x. So, let us substitute into this formula. Uh, this is the solution is y e integral of p dx this is equal to q this is c1 e 2x okay e integral of 2 dx dx plus c2 now so ganyan lang and what is this E integral to dx. This the integral of this is 2x. So this becomes y e 2x. This is equal to labas natin constant. We have c1 e 2x. Well, this one is e 2x dx plus c2. So the ganda na ang linis na ng solution. Y e 2x this is equal to C1 integral of E. This one, we add the power. So we have 4x dx plus C2. And we can now solve this. Kulang tayo dito ng 4. So we balance natin ng 4. Okay, so this becomes now y e 2x is equal to c1 4 a to the 4x plus yung c2, lagyan na lang natin ng 4 okay, para uh, maging madali. So, um, yan na. Either we multiply this by 4 or we take this as another constant na lang. Pwede naman ganyan na lang close natin. Or kung gusto, we just simplify. Or pwede na ganyan yung answer. So you take this as one constant. Doesn't matter. So yung sabok naman, ganito yung answer niya. Y e 2x. This one, naging ginawa lang yung constant. A 4x plus C2. Uh, absorb na lang yung 1 for 1 for. Or you can have this as your answer. It doesn't matter. Anyway, when you compute for C1, the labas yung para yung answer. Depende sa sa um, condition. So that will end my discussion. Uh, yung well, part one lang, I will be solving more problems in the next uh, video about operators.